Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you back today for another reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today. And for today's reading, we have a message that you're finally ready to receive. So you've come to a point in your life where there is a message that you're finally ready to hear. And I will let your spirit guides and angels today channel that message to you. And we have three piles to choose from as always. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about the message that you're finally ready to receive. So as your card, pile number one, you have the reflection card right here. Okay, very beautiful image. And I'm also noticing the duality of the white and black swan right away. So maybe that is going to be relevant to your reading in some kind of way. We will see. Um, but to start off, I want to get a message for you guys right away. Just to see what is exactly that you need to hear right now. What exactly you're ready to hear right now. So for pile number one, spirit guides and angels, please give them the message that they're finally ready to receive. What is something that they're finally ready to know? Ooh, adventure awaits. Wow. Okay, very, very fun card and exciting card to receive. So let's see on the back. It says, break up your routine and live a little, sweetheart. It's time for some adventure, plan a vacation, take a spontaneous drive. A change of pace and scenery will do you good. Plus, you never know who, whom you'll meet or what you'll experience along the way. A fabulous new friend or partner, a spectacular meal at a charming local joint, the vista of a lifetime. Adventure awaits. Wow, okay, interesting. We'll focus this for you as well. Okay, pal number one. So what I'm seeing here for you, what are you finally ready to hear? I feel that you're finally coming to a stage of your life where things are just going to get more exciting and more fun, right? Because you also had to hear the duality of the black and white swan. So I do feel that with the reflection, the reflection time, it is usually a transitional time in our life when we're reflecting, when we're slowing down. And because reflection usually tends, tends to get us to slow down in life, after that, we usually get the um, clarity that we need and our life becomes more fast-paced. So I feel that you're, this reflection period that you might be going through is going to help you to reach a clarity that kind of, you know, gives you the answer that you need in order to have fun. Because sometimes what prevents us from doing fun things is because our mind is somewhere else and we're like, oh, I, I can't focus on this because... I'm worried about this, right? But I feel that you're coming out of this reflection phase. You're coming out of like the slow, stagnant phase of your life. And I feel that your life is just going to get more exciting. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here with this adventure awaits. Some of you might be traveling somewhere or if you have been thinking about doing this, um, as it's said in your message, you know, you never know who you're going to meet there. Uh, what is going to inspire you in that place? Uh, what is going to happen, you know, there's so many things that can happen that can be life-changing during those moments. And I feel if you have been maybe looking for some answers or something like that, going on some sort of trip or adventure is going to help you to get inspired, to get an answer of some kind, okay? It could be also just confirming for some of you that you are traveling here in the near future, but yeah, very interesting uh, message here. Let's get some tarot cards to see more about your message here. Okay, what are you ready to, what are you finally ready to hear? Call number one. What is the message that you're finally ready to receive? Something that needs to be revealed to you. Wow, you're, you have the chariot right away. So the chariot is about movement. It's about finally moving, okay? So I feel that a lot of you, you're finally ready to start moving again. You're finally ready to get out of that stagnant energy, the energy of reflection, the energy of thinking, um, dwelling on things too much, okay? I feel maybe the universe is telling you you have thought about it enough, okay? You have been thinking you have been reflecting it's enough 
don't get too stuck in this energy. I feel it's time for you to finally start to get um, just to get excited again, to to move again, to do things again. I'm kind of getting this exciting energy coming from your pile. But you do have the chariot, which again I mentioned is about movement, right? The chariot is about going forward. Some of you have been maybe deciding where to go or where to do next, and the universe is like, come on, make a decision. Like we need to get things moving. Like you're ready okay sometimes we tend to get in our head too much and we tend to overthink everything and the universe is like come on like we need to get it going okay it's time to move again you also have the six of cups okay you have the nine of cups wow look at this you have the fool wow pile number one very beautiful uh, cards here and also the page of swords okay what are you finally ready to hear pile number one it's time for adventure okay that's what i'm seeing with the fool and the page of swords you're you're ready to start something that's what i'm hearing you're ready to do something that has been always been on your mind that you have been always wanting to do with the six of cups this is taking me back to like your childhood okay like something that you have been wanting to do for a child since you were a child it's finally time to do it you cannot wait any longer like that's what i'm seeing there is no reason for you to wait any longer all of your cards are speaking about movement about learning about taking a risk about taking that leap of faith you know going after something adventure awaits look at this as an adventure okay you don't have to be that serious is what i'm seeing especially with the fool the fool, you know, even though the fool can sometimes be a bit reckless, they do have this carefree energy about them that it's like, you know, even if something happens, I'm still going to pull myself out of it. Like, I'm still going to be able to save myself. And I'm not saying for you to be reckless and to go out there and, you know, do all of these things. But sometimes we do need this fool energy to trigger us to make the change, right? To trigger us to, to take the first step moving forward. And I feel that, you know, at the end of the day, there is always a solution to everything. And uh, maybe some of you, you tend to have this approach of, I have to have everything figured out before I start. I need to know exactly how everything is gonna go. And I need to have a backup plan for everything that is going to happen. And that is good, of course, to have always. It's always too good to be prepared. But there's always going to be something along the way that you're not planning for that's going to arise. And you will just have to deal with it at the moment. And when it comes up, you will realize that it's actually not that big of a deal. I feel that sometimes we create a lot more fear in our head than what it actually is in our reality. You have the, the Nine of Cups here. I see that you guys are really wanting something. Okay, there's a specific desire that you guys have and you really want it and you have been thinking about it, you have been wishing for it, maybe since you were a child again, because I feel that for some of you this will resonate. There has been something that you have been wanting to do since you were a child and now you're an adult and you can, it, it almost feels like you finally also have the freedom to do it, you know, when we're under age and when we're, when we're children there's so much freedom that we have because, you know, we're still under the care of our parents. Maybe some of you are living still with your parents. So there is this lack of freedom, but I'm kind of getting this energy from you that now you're finally matured enough to do what you want to do. You know, before there were maybe restrictions on this, like maybe from your parents, maybe from other people in your life because you weren't because you were young. So this might uh, resonate with those of you who are younger. But I feel that you finally have the freedom to do something, okay? And it's not, it feels like now it's in your hands. Like it's, if you don't do it now, then you don't have your parents to blame. You don't have, um, I don't know, school to blame or whoever it is in your life that you might feel like it's holding you back. I feel like you guys are at a stage right now where if you don't take the next step forward, it's like you're the only one to blame. Because the action is in front of you is what I'm seeing. With the page... A source. This is somebody who is a beginner. They're a newbie. They're um, they still need improvement, but they're doing things, right? They're learning still. 
And if, you, if there has been a hobby that you've wanted to learn, if there has been something that you wanted to start, like whatever it is, something that you've been wanting to pick up. Maybe you want to start learning tarot. Maybe you want to start drawing. Maybe you want to start selling your art. You know, so many of you are going to be at a different stages of your journey, but the main energy is that you're finally ready. Don't wait anymore. The, the, there's no reason for you to wait anymore. It's better to get started is what I'm hearing, poll number one. Okay, let's get some oracle cards for you. What are you finally ready to hear, poll number one? Gratitude and appreciation. And look at this, we have the child here. Again, it's taking me back to your child, to your child self. I feel that maybe your child self is coming up. We see here, you have the child holding this uh, woman's hand. And this almost, I'm seeing you and your child self, and then you currently, and your child self is like, come on, let's do it. You know, I've always wanted to do this. Like, that's what I'm seeing. Like, so show some gratitude and appreciation to your childhood dreams. And I always say this to people. It's like, whatever has been your biggest wish since you were a child, if you don't do it later on in your adult years, it's going to haunt you forever. Because when we are a child, we have no limitations. You know, we, we literally, our imagination is beyond the measures because we still don't know what we can and what we can do, which is what society teaches us right away, uh, right? And I always tell people who are close to me in my life, if, if you don't know what you want to do right now with your life, just think about your child self. What do they want to do? What did they enjoy doing? You know, what did they like to do? What did they want to do before there were all of these people coming in and telling them, but you have to go to school, you have to do this, you have this obligation, you can't do this because of this. You know, what did you want to do before all of these people came and told you you can't do it? And I always find that this works. Like for a majority of the people who I've told to try this exercise, it works for them. So maybe try this as well for you. Let's see what else. What are you finally ready to hear? Revision. Okay, try again as I'm hearing for some of you. I'm hearing for some of you, if you have tried this before, maybe it didn't work last time, try again. Okay, it's not that it didn't work. Maybe you just gave up at a time where there was an obstacle, you maybe got too scared, you didn't know how to solve it, you know. If there, has, if there is something that you feel like you tried before but didn't work out, try it again. Maybe you weren't ready that time, right? Maybe you just didn't have the knowledge that you needed at that time. Maybe you didn't have the spiritual growth that you needed at that time. Try again something. If you feel like you can do it, you know, maybe if you feel like you're more experienced now, try again. Especially with the page of sorts showing up here. Maybe some of you have advanced more on something. So if there's something again that you keep coming back to, just because something didn't work out in the past, poll number one, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work in the future. Maybe it just needed to happen in a different way, in a different time, um, at a different stage in your life. Try again something if you feel like you need to go back to it. Okay, let's see what else. What are you meant to hear right now? The fates. Okay, so there is a fated moment that's arising here for you. And this is uh, divine timing. So I'm seeing with the fates here and revision, for some of you, maybe something that failed before, it wasn't a divine timing for it to happen. Okay? And I feel that now there is a divine timing for you guys that's approaching you maybe something failed right something didn't work out uh, i don't want to say that it failed it just maybe you gave up at an obstacle right you gave up too early and then you needed to go in a period of reflecting maybe learning more studying more practicing more and now i feel you're finally ready to come back to something either come back to something or start something new okay try again that's what i'm hearing for a lot of you you can either try again at something new or you can try to get at something that you did before 
because this is faded. This is very much faded for you, palm number one. Okay, there is a moment um, when this card is showing up, it's, it's telling you that this is um, a destined moment in your life. It's divine timing for something big to happen. And you have the freedom of choice to do it. Okay, we have we see the woman here walking up the cliff. It almost feels like this is it's this or nothing. Like that's the energy that I'm getting. It's like I either do it now or I just never do it for the rest of my life. So I feel that you have the opportunity right now, call number one, to do something, to make a dream of yours happen. But it's up to you if you're gonna take the action. Now let's get your last message to end your reading, my beautiful call number one. What it is that you're meant to hear? What are you ready to hear from the universe and your angels? Let's see. Wow, confidence. It comes with time and practice. Look at this. This person is, they're going somewhere alone, but they're very scared. And you have an adventure awaits and we see this person is on a train, right? So it's like, even though it's scary, right, with the fool, even though it's scary, it's a bit risky, you can always learn to be more confident. That is the thing. Everything in life, patience, you know, there are so many people that are like, oh, I'm just not patient enough to do this, or I just don't have the confidence to do this, or I don't have this to do it. You can always learn it. Everything in life can be taught, can be learned, can be practiced, can be achieved. If you just dedicate enough time and focus to something you can learn whatever it is okay whatever it is you can either be really talented at something or i also like to say you can be really talented at learning things then you can do whatever you want you just have to um understand and get rid of that limiting belief that you can be talented only at certain things and what is given to you, that is, that is what you can do. You can learn everything. It might not be the most natural thing for you in the beginning, but that is only because you were never used to doing things like this. Okay, maybe you were exposed in your childhood to different things and that's why you think you're more talented at these things. But if you switch your focus to other things, like maybe your whole life you have been more studious, right? You have been good at math, you have been good at physics, and you're like, I'm not talented at art, I cannot do art. But what if you switch your focus to art? What if you start developing more of your creative side? It will start to become more natural to you, and that is the way that you become talented at it, by learning it. Everything in life can be taught and learned. Okay, poll number one, so have the confidence. It comes with time and practice, so Whatever you feel like you're lacking right now, you can learn and you can obtain it. So that's what I have for your reading, my beautiful poem number one. I hope that this resonated for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful palm number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about the message that you're finally ready to hear. So as your card, palm number two, you chose the decay card right here. Okay. This card is actually, I feel that the meaning to this card is very beautiful and it's giving me like the message of, you know, if you feel like you lost something in your past, if you right now you can think right away of like, oh yeah, that really hurt when I lost that thing. This card talks about whatever you will lose, you will gain again. So I'm kind of getting the message for you, pawn number one of like, if you feel like you lost something in your life, be assured that you're going to be blessed by something even better. Okay, that was just that was just the universe making space for something better in your life. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's get a message for you right away to see what is that you're finally ready to hear pile number two. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see. Pile number two, what are you finally ready to hear? Let's take a look. A new day. Okay. Beautiful. Let's take a look on the back. Let go. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let go of what was in order to make room for what's to come. Oh my god, I just said this. I just said that the universe has been making space for something better for you. Oh my god, wow. Okay. Let go 
of what was in order to make room for what's to come. It may be time to release a relationship that has run its course, a job that lost its luster, or a depleting com commitment. The past is over, what's done is done. Acknowledge the feelings, learn from the experience, and, to gi and give yourself permission to release any negative emotion or guilt. When one area of your life falls apart, new opportunities fall into place. Wow, pile number two. We'll focus this for you. Hopefully you can also read it if you need to. But this is exactly what I was saying just like 10 seconds ago. If you feel like you guys lost something in your life, that means that the universe is making space for something better. Okay, because you will, your life will never be empty of things. And actually, it's really funny because I watched somebody talk about this like yesterday on Instagram, and I feel it really resonates with your message. But they were saying how like the best way for us to manifest things in, your, in our life that we want is by letting go of a lot of things in our life. Because they, they put it in a way like this, like just to visualize ourselves as like wine corks, you know, like corks that need to float up to the top right and like we floating to the top is us receiving our manifestation but if we have all of these things right all of these rocks that are holding us back we're gonna keep sinking and we cannot float to the top right so and, and i really do feel this is true the best way for us to reach our manifestation is to start letting go of the things that are um restraining us from floating up and I feel that this also resonates with your message. Maybe in your past, there has been a big loss of a person of a thing that it might have been very valuable to you. Or maybe this is like an encouragement for you right now. If you feel like you need to let go of things in order to progress, in order to move on. It's like, a yes, like go ahead. You're free to let go of, of things in your life. You do not feel to be guilty. I... I feel that this is very common because I've also felt this way myself in the past, but I felt so guilty when I wanted to move forward and I felt like there were people in my life who were holding me back. For me, it was people, but maybe for some other, for some others, it can be again a job or just something in your life that you feel like, like I, I would be so good. Like I can do so much more if I just, you know, if I just, and you know, you feel so guilty. Like you don't want to let go of these things or these people because Maybe they've been with you throughout your whole life, but it really comes to a point where you have to choose yourself because you realize that it just, it cannot go on anymore like this. So don't feel guilty if you feel like you need to let go of people in your life. If just, you know, and it doesn't even have to be that you are in a bad relationship with these people. Maybe they're just, they're just not willing to improve with you, right? It doesn't you don't always have to be like arguing with these people or whatever it can be just that they are happy where they are and you want to move forward but they don't want to and they keep holding you back so i feel for you the message that you're finally ready to hear is that you're either finally ready to let go of things and welcome new things in your life or if you feel like you lost something in the past, if there is a specific thing right now that you're like, yes, I lost that and I hurt like hell, that means that the universe is gonna bless you right now with something more. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. Oh my God, I've been already speaking for so long. Um, sorry, I got a bit lost, but let's see. What is your message that you're finally ready to hear? Pile number two, let's clarify here with your tarot cards. What is pile number two finally ready to hear? Feel this card as well. Okay, let's take a look here. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Knight of Swords is about movement. It's about fast movement. And I'm also kind of, you know, the Knight is the Knight. The Knight of Swords is the Knight with the sword. So I'm also kind of getting this image of like this person going to the forest and cutting down the trees as they're going through, right? With their sword. So... This is again bringing me back to like taking things away from your life that you feel like are holding you back. Five of Cups. Wow. Okay. Five of Cups. It's it's it really resonates with this decay card because the Five of Cups. It's about loss. It's about grieving, feeling like you've lost something. Two of Pentacles. 
You also have the King of Wands. Wow. Okay, beautiful. And your last card is the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there is something, there is something that is holding you back. Eight of Swords is about feeling stuck. It's about not feeling clear where you are, where you're standing, what is happening. It's kind of like you're stuck in the mud. Okay, that's what the two of what's the Eight of Swords feels like. So what I'm seeing here for you, Paul number two, the message that you're finally ready to hear is that there is this energy of like enough is enough. Like I feel that some of you maybe feel like you've lost things. You maybe feel like are missing out on things. Um, some of you might be focused too much on the negative and what's going on in your life right now. You might be feeling a bit imbalanced. And I'm I'm actually getting the message that actually the control is in your hands, spell number two, which I feel it's always nice to hear. And it always is, okay? And the control of our life is always in our hands. And there are certain actions that we can take in our life to get ourselves out of these things. Sometimes... They might not sound like the best things, right? Like right now, I feel that the action for you is letting go of some things in your life, cutting a lot of things away from your life, maybe people, a job or whatever. I feel that in order for you to get out of this feeling of like stuck in the mud, you need to get rid of some things in your life. Because the reason as to why you're feeling maybe stuck or a bit underwhelmed you know for some of you this can be like you just feel dissatisfied like you feel you wake up in the morning and you're like okay i have things but i don't know i still feel sad at the end of the day like i still feel like i can do more it's because you're not taking action towards something that you know you can change today there is something in your life that you can change today is what i'm hearing that can improve your future with the King of Wands, this is speaking about you being confident, you being your number one priority. You know, just being in that energy of like, I don't care, you know, I'm just going to do what feels right for me and take care of myself. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, it's fine, right? And with the king of wands showing up in your reading i do feel like you need to be more confident also in the decisions that you're making for yourself to not rely so much on other advice or i feel it's it's time for you to finally start listening to what you have been telling yourself okay it's i feel that you need to start taking control of your life you need to wake up and just be like, okay, I, I can actually control my life and what I do and the, the actions that I put because the reality that you're living in right now is just a result of your prior actions because everything in life has its reaction, right? It has its feedback. And maybe it's not going to show up the next day. Maybe it's not going to show up in the next two months, but it will eventually show up. So with this, I'm saying... If you start to do better things every day, maybe not in the in one week or in two weeks, but in two months, your reality is going to start shifting and you're going to notice it in such a drastic way. It all comes from the actions that you take right now every day. And if you change them, your reality will also start to change is what I'm seeing here. Let's see what else. What are you finally ready to hear upon number two? What are you finally ready to hear? Illumination. Okay, so I feel that the gap that was left empty is going to be filled for you guys with this Five of Cups. I feel that you've lost something or you might need to lose something in order to gain something. That is the message that I'm seeing here. You might need to let go of something in your life to gain something new, to gain something better. You need to make more space in your life is what I'm hearing. Because right now with this Eight of Swords, there are too many things in your life that are not good for you. But they're in your life still. And I feel that you need to do, honestly, like a clear out, like a spring cleaning of your life. Unity. Okay, work together with the universe. I feel that the universe wants to work together with you. It wants to bring you whatever it is that you are desiring. I feel like they're ready to bless you. It's also what I'm hearing. They're ready to bless you with something, but um, make space for it, okay? 
make space for something new in your life is what I'm seeing. I also feel that this is a really good time for a lot of you to start like um, start taking up healthier habits. Like if you have been thinking about changing some of the minor things that you're doing every day, like I don't know, waking up earlier or exercising or eating healthier, this is a good time to do those things to place new regulations in your life. I feel especially with new day, like I feel that you guys are ready to change, to change your life for the better. What else are you finally ready to hear? Call number two. Exchanging gifts. You know, exchanging gifts. This is exactly um, the message that I've been saying. The universe wants you to make space in order to welcome new things. It's like an exchange. You give the universe the bad and they will regenerate it and give it back to you in a good way. So if you make like... Um, if you make space for good things in your life, good things are going to come. And you do this by letting go of the things that do not serve you anymore. Which is really funny because I'm saying they do not serve you anymore. But we tend to have such a hard time letting go of these things. Okay? When we actually know that they are not good for us, but we are still like holding on to them for some reason. Because we feel like there is going to be a gap left in our life, right? But I feel for you... You know, you have exchanging gifts. The universe wants to make an exchange with you for you to give them what it is that you feel like it's restricting you in your life. You know, this is what I was saying with the cork, right? It's like you're a cork trying to float to the top, but there are so many of these ties and strings that are holding you. They're like drowning you, pulling you down, and you're not letting go of them. When all you need to do is just, you know, cut it away with the Knight of Swords. Cut it away. And you're going to float to the top. That is how you become the king of wands. Let's get your last card, pawn number two. What are you finally ready to hear? What is pawn number two finally ready to hear? Wow, wings. You never needed those wings to fly. I feel that you're going to realize that, you know, some of you are maybe thinking like, I need these people. I need this thing in order to do this. I, I can't do it by myself. No. You see, your message is, again, cutting away something that will let you float to the top, that will let you fly. It's it's like, metaphorically, it's the same message that you keep getting in your cards. Of If you let go of things, you will be able to get, to get something better in your life. And it said that very clear in your message here as well. Let go of what... Um, let go of what was in order to make room for what's to come. So you, you're finally ready to hear that you can let go of these things in your life. You're safe to let go of these things in your life. Some of you need to hear that you're safe. You're free. You have the, the support to let go of something in your life. That you feel like it's restricting you. It's holding you back. Enough is enough. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Enough is enough. Once you let go of this, you will feel so free. You will experience freedom, Paul number two. And you will be blessed immediately. And I can assure you that this happens, okay? I can assure you that this happens. I've experienced it too many times by myself to not believe in it. That as soon, like literally as soon as you let go of something in your life, in the span of two to three days, it will be replaced by something better. And I can assure you on this, Okay. But that's what I have for your reading today, poll number two. I really hope that this resonated for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poll number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about the message that you're finally ready to receive. So as your card, poll number three, you have the Crossroads card here. And to start off with your reading, I want to get a message for you right away to see what it is exactly that you need to hear or you're finally ready to hear. So let's see, spirit guides and angels, please give pile number three the exact message that they're finally ready to hear. Wow, wow, wishes fulfilled. I'm sure that many of you are really happy to see this card. Let's take a look on the back. It says your wishes have been germinating. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they're deeply planted in the so soil of the loving universe and fulfillment is here or just around the corner. But faith is required. 
when we put ourselves out there, it's easy to get defeated if what we want doesn't materialize right away. Have confidence. You are more than capable of manifesting your deepest desires. It's all happening, dear one. Wow, such a beautiful message to receive, pawn number three. Let me bring this closer for you. Hopefully, you can also read it for yourself. But very clear message that we received for you, pile three. A wish of yours will be granted. And I'm sure many of you are really happy to see this card right here. So I don't think I need to go more into the meaning of this card. But let's get some tarot cards to see maybe what wishes being granted to you. Or what else you are ready to finally hear, pile number three. I feel that these are too many cards and they kind of got stuck together and I think from the previous pile so let me just shuffle again for you what are you finally ready to hear pile number three or what wish will be granted to you wow okay beautiful what wish will be granted to pile number three from the beautiful pile number three what are they finally ready to hear let's take a look so i'm seeing right away for you the queen of pentacles so this is saying that your wish is related to your finances and your career so if you guys have been wishing for more abundance wishing for more money or money flow i see that's coming in that's materializing for a lot of you here let's see what else you also have the three of cups there's something that you're going to be celebrating about here beautiful five of wands Five of Pentacles, and your last card, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Oh, wow. This is going to be so powerful, pile number three, for you. Okay. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune showing up here in your reading, especially after the Five of Wands and Five of Pentacles, this is showing me that your situation is going to change completely. Okay. Five of Wands, it's this competitive energy, it's this energy of fighting, you know, we see that people are arguing and, strongly, um, and struggling. And the Five of Pentacles is actually the feeling of lack. So we feel like we're in the winter, it's cold, we don't have much, especially when it comes to our finances. But you have the Wheel of Fortune right away afterwards, which is showing me that this is changing. This situation in your life, this feeling of like you're lacking, like you don't have enough, you're struggling, you're always fighting for it, you're always competing, like maybe some of you are living paycheck by paycheck, okay, that's also something that I'm seeing, but is this energy that a lot of you might be struggling financially specifically, I feel that, that is changing for you, there is going to be a wheel of fortune event, a change of destiny, a change of faith that's happening in your life, with the Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups, this is indicating a celebration of some kind. It's indicating fin financial gain. Um, I feel that this is something that you will be really happy to maybe share with the people who are close to you. There are some good news that you will be receiving. But you do have the Crossroads, okay? The Crossroads card that you chose. And I feel that some of you right now might be, you know, this person is completely new here in the image. Maybe you feel like you don't have to lose much anymore. And maybe this is going to push you to take an action in your life to finally do something that you have in your mind because you're like, well, I can't lose anymore. Like, I literally don't have anything else to lose right now. And maybe this is pushing you to take some sort of action. Maybe this is pushing you to finally decide on what to do to change something in your life. But I do feel that there is a change. There is a divine plan here that's taking into action. Sometimes if we're, if we're not willing to change when we're in a comfortable situation, but we are aware that there is a change that we need to make and we feel comfortable, but we refuse to make the change, the universe will put us in an uncomfortable situation so that we can make the change. And this is for our own good. Again, this is for the result of a better, of a better future for us. And I feel that maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe some of you are in a very uncomfortable spot. You're in, a, in an uncomfortable situation because this is the only way that you can make the change from feeling uncomfortable. If you feel comfortable constantly, why would you feel the need to change, right? Why would you feel the need to be better? And I feel for you here, you, there is this gain that you will receive in the, in the future by taking some sort of action or decision with the crossroads here. 
I feel that the decision that you're going to make right now, it's going to lead to a much, much better future for you, especially when it comes to your career and finances and also the people in your life. Honestly, I'm kind of seeing that your life is going to start being put back together. A lot of you are going to gain also new friends, new relationships in your life is what I'm seeing as well. Let's see what else. What are you finally ready to hear? Palm number three. You have adventure. So there is something exciting that's coming in ahead of you. You Look at this. Um, I feel that you're very divinely guided and supported right now. I also feel that your wishes and your prayers have been heard by the universe and by God. And that you are being watched by a divine source, whatever that is for you right now. Because we see this person looking down on like the islands or the mountains. And it almost feels like they're looking down on this person, right? And I feel that, you know, there's so much uncertainty right now for you because of all the mountains and all the ups and downs and stuff and everything. But you're being guided and you're being, sa you're being safe. That's, I feel, what you also need to hear. You're safe to take action. You're safe to make a decision in your life right now. This is a divine time. This is a divine plan that's taking into action for you, Paul number three. Let's see what else? What are you finally ready to hear? What is the message that you're finally ready to receive here? Core. Wow. You're really changing within. There is a big, huge transformation happening. This is coming in from inside, from your core, from your heart. From your body within. This is where change happens though, you know? A lot of people think that change starts in the physical world. It starts by doing certain things right but it it all honestly comes from within it all comes from within you can do whatever you want but if you do not change as a person if you do not change your mindset you're just going to go back to your old ways it's so easy to go back it's so good that is why it's so important for you to reprogram your brain to reprogram your core who it is that you're within because you need to change the person inside of you in order to change the reality outside of you if you don't do that even if you gain what it is that you want you're you can lose it right away if you don't change yourself first you know it's i will give you a very simple example if you're a person who doesn't know how to work with money you don't understand money and you win the lottery you're gonna lose it as fast as you have gotten that money but if you start to work on yourself, you start to work on your mindset, you start to learn about money, you start to understand how money works, how to properly use money, how to be wise with your money. If you receive this blessing, you can turn it into more money. That is the difference between changing yourself within. And I feel that you are doing that change. You are making that change. You're changing from within. There's, there's a lot. You're maturing a lot is what I'm seeing. What else are you finally ready to hear? I want to see more about this wish. Let's get more clarification about your wish, Paul number three. What are you being blessed with here? Time for a nap. Ooh, I'm getting this is something that you have been dreaming of. This is something that you have been really wanting. Maybe you visualize this before you go to sleep or it's a part of something that you have been wanting for a long time. Something that you have been dreaming for. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's get your last message, your last card, call number three. What are you finally ready to hear? What is the message that you're finally ready to receive? I feel this one is coming out. Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. You know, you have the three of cups here and then you have this card. And there is three people on both of the images. I feel this is not a coincidence, coincidence at all. Maybe you want to start collaborating with some people in your life. Maybe there is a team in your life and you can work together to build something better for your future together. Maybe there's people in your life who are on the same page as you and it almost feels like you have these friends and you maybe have a business idea to start together. And I feel that you will be really good at partners at doing something. I feel that in your case, Paul number three, you might not need to do everything alone. I feel there is especially, you have the three of cups here again, I feel that there are people in your life who are going to help you achieve this. I also want you to know that you're not alone. 
maybe this is also for some of you who don't have physical people in your life this is your spirit guides or your angels saying that they're working together with you on this that it's safe for you to make a change because they're working with you together they want you to get your wish fulfilled and it is coming in but you also have to remember here in the card it says to have the confidence and to not get discouraged or deflated if what you desire is not coming in right away. It doesn't mean that this is going to, you know, the wheel is going to switch and the money is going to come in right away. But the wheel of fortune starts when you start to change as well. If you're starting to change within, know that the change from the outside is also coming. And your blessing is a material gain. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Your financial situation is going to change. But that's what I have for your reading today, poem number three. I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love to see you again. Bye-bye.